priority mission highlighted. Proceed to the marker. Over here! Agent! Meet me at the gate. Agent! Follow me! I need Ragnar! Jump over it! Hostile threat detected. Take cover. Get out of position! barricades and have someone radio the patrols to be on the lookout for stragglers some of those bastards got away i didn't expect another attack so soon you okay if this keeps up we're gonna have to relocate come on help me with this we're stretched too thin to protect everyone here not again get to the waterfront that can't be right Dress code. The coordinates for Washington, D.C. How is this possible? Get down! Everybody get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened, it needs to be fixed or it's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go! We took things for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some, Some survived. survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped, helped each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. 
We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out... Who can save us then? It's been seven months since the outbreak. We still live in fear of the virus, the green poison. The real danger is out there, waiting. Incoming alert on the SHD emergency channel. Flash priority. The base of operations is under attack. Hostile forces have breached our southern perimeter. We are in need of immediate assistance. Repeat, need immediate assistance from any nearby agents. toward the White House. Looks like they've cut down a group of hyenas and are headed this way. Agent, if you can hear us on this frequency, keep pushing forward and blindside these bastards.
Hey, thanks for the help out there. You should check in with Manny, our coordinator. Upstairs in the blue room. And come by here if you ever need help with your tech. This is you. Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comms. I'm guessing the division alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in DC. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. By the way, Agent, head downstairs and check in with the Quartermaster. He can get you set up with some division tech. You're gonna need the edge.
thank you for taking my call. I understand you've got your hands full, too. No, no, I understand. Not the time for pleasantries. No, we're no closer to finding a cure. Look, if we had anything, we'd be sharing it. This is bigger than borders. But these rumors of a broad-spectrum antiviral are just that. Rumors. Now, let's talk about this proposal of yours to shut down the border crossings in El Paso. I know you've got a lot of people headed south from there right now that you can't afford to take care of. Believe me, we don't want to outsource our problems to you. I get more of it. 